first focus on the actual footwork. Basically, remember this, the, the rope should not be a, far, a, a distance away from your body, it should be lying on top of your shoulder. Then from this position, I'm trying to face with my center line to my opponent or slip rope's center line here. If I'm moving right, it's my right foot that moves. Now, because I'm moving forward, my right foot isn't going to take a big step to the front. It's going to take a more or less a 45 degree angle from where it currently is, sliding to the right as I move underneath and I follow with my left foot. If I'm moving to the left, left foot's going to move at a 45 angle from its uh, position now and I'm going to move underneath. The feeling with the head is imagine for now a stiff neck and your head is attached to a rope that you're pulling on. So your movement here is I'm pulling the rope down and I'm moving underneath. So my feet propel me forward and also we're going to move backwards but I'm not from here ducking with my upper body. This stays still. So we're moving forward, one, and just slowly first, two, three, four. We move backwards, so same principle, but just backwards, 45 degree angle back with the right foot, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're not taking big steps, short, short, short increments every time forward and back, one, Two, three, four. Backwards. One, two, three, four. Okay. So what I suggest for now, just take a minute and go up and down, working the feet and keeping the body straight. Right, now that we've got the footwork sorted out and the position of the upper body sorted out, let's add some punches. So, two things can happen when I'm going to slip. It can either be that the hand that is closest to the slip rope is punching, and then I'm going to use that to do the roll here, do the punch with the arm that's closest, and move underneath, closest, and move, closest, and move. Same thing for backwards. So I'm hitting, I'm moving back, hitting, Back, okay, so do that first, that's the easiest one, is just add a punch with the arm that's closest to the line of your target and move underneath that same arm. Do that for a minute or two, forwards and backwards, then come back to the next one. For the next one, it is that the opposite hand to the rope does the punch, but I'm not going to, from this position, just move underneath the slip rope, because that's going to keep, uh, uh, put me in a vulnerable position. So from this position here, I'm doing my outside punch, and it retracts to this position where I'm covered, and then I move. Hit, and it's the hips come back to its neutral position and move. And same thing for backwards. And forwards. And backwards. Right, so this one has just that little bit extra neutral position before you move. Have fun with that for two minutes, then come back. So let's quickly do a... So let's do a quick combination. We are not going to change anything in the combination depending on which side of the rope we're on. But we're going to remember that if the inside arm finishes, I can use that to roll under. 
If the outside arm finishes, I need to get back to neutral safety and then get under the rope. And we're going to add a hook as our counter movement. So I'm going to deliver two attacks. Jab, cross, it's the arm closest, so I'm using this to roll under, and I finish with a quick hook. Now I'm going to start with the jab again. So this is going to be the inside arm that starts. Outside arm, I bring my hips back to neutral here, so that I can push off the back foot, and I'm going to add a lead hook. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. And the same thing, we go backwards. So from here, jab, cross, hook. Jab, cross, hook. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, count. So just slowly again. Jab, cross, and hook doesn't change. Depending on which side of the rope I am, it stays the same. Jab crosses our attacks, then we slip and we add the hook as a counter. We do jab cross again, we go underneath and we add the counter. Jab cross, underneath, counter. Jab cross, underneath, counter. Okay, have fun with that. Forward and backwards for two minutes. Then come back for the next one. The next exercise, we're going to make things a bit awkward. We're going to kick. So the kick is not going to be a long extended uh, kick as if there's a lot of space. We're going to imagine that the guy's still on top of us. So it must be a very short, quick snap kick that can fit two quick punches. So for me, we're going to start with the inside leg. So the leg that's underneath the rope, quick kick and it comes back. And then from there, I move underneath. The leg that's under the rope, quick kick, and then move. It touches down before I move. But the moment it touches down, I move. Okay, but I don't want you to put the foot forward with the back leg. So depending on which side you fight on, it might be right or left leg. But... Then it comes down, then I move underneath. I have to get my hip back in line again. Kick, this is fine, my hips are neutral, I move. Kick, hips are neutral, I move. Try again. Right, this one, you can focus on only going forward if you really want to. You can move the back one as well. But for kicking purposes, it's unlikely to move backwards when you are uh, when you're delivering a kick. Because kicking while pressure is being put on you is a little bit dangerous getting your feet off the floor. You, you could rather use your arms for that. But try both forward and back. Have fun. So let's quickly look at when the outside leg is kicking. So for this, let's maybe think of a round kick to my opponent's upper leg. Again, remember the guy's on top of us, so we're not focused on high kicks very far away. We've got our shoulder under the line here. I'm imagining my opponent's uh, right leg is vulnerable. I'm going to do a quick round kick, neutral, then move over. Kick to the leg, then move. Kick, then move. We can use the same thing backwards. So I'm attacking the leg, and then I'm moving underneath. I kick, I get back to neutral, and I move. Kick, and move. Kick, move. We go forward again, attack the leg, and then move. Attack the leg, and then move. Attack, move, and attack, and move. Have a bit of fun with that. A couple of round kicks, but try and aim for the legs because that's going to be your best bet when your opponent's on top of you. Have fun. Let's look at a quick combo. Um, 
for the kicks. So from here, what we're going to do, we're going to do the inside kick aimed at the bladder area, quick. We're going to attack the leg, then we're going to duck underneath and we're going to finish with a hook. We do an inside kick, round kick, move, finish with a hook. Inside kick, round kick, move, finish with a hook. Move back, and try again. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right. Have some fun with that. You can do any kick, any counter punch. But keep in mind, we're working specifically on an opponent that is close to us. We're not interested in distance fighting now. Enjoy.